Welcome back graduates. So today I want to show you something that I'm pretty excited about. Um, now this has a lot of, you know, history behind it and a, a reason and a cause. Um, this is using Ecomify theme, our own theme. I am biased to it. I think it has a lot of um, cool features and also uh, options for this. But today I want to show you um, Printful. I want to show you uh, T-Launch. I want to show you print on demand basically in a nutshell. Uh, so this is again using Ecomify theme with some own personal edits uh, like the menu and also some other sections as well. Um, but going into it, I'd like to show you. So scrolling down, uh, you can see that uh, these are mock-up images. Um, if you don't have your products, it's okay to use uh, product image. It's okay to use uh, mock-ups for the time being. You do not have to uh, purchase every every one of your product line uh, products um, and and have people um, showcase it. I mean, if you if you do have the time and if you do have the um, investment to do that, definitely that would make it more personal, but you don't need to uh, do that for every one of your products because let's say you have 50 products, you have to buy 50 of your products and then uh, showcase it. Um, but you can do that always down the road. Um, and also there's a couple things you could do is you can, um, incentivize your uh, customers 10% uh, off if you leave a review with a picture, things like that. So uh, uh, definitely test that theory out. Uh, so the mockups that I use um, are through Placeit. Um, it is a subscription. It is a paid subscri subscription. You can do annually or you can do it monthly. And what that basically is, is you create the design in Adobe Illustrator and then um, as it and then save it as a transparent and then you upload, um, you save it and then you upload that file into uh, place it into the mockup and it will generate kind of like these kind of mockups right over here. Um, so what I want to get into is first the the store. I just started. I just finished the design. That's why there's a lot of you know views here. I haven't gotten any orders yet. I literally um, did this within a couple of days, um, and I want to perfect my theme first and then go into the marketing. Um, there is a couple um, things around my store um, that I that I I offer. Uh, and a cause so scrolling down you see you know um, the first image it's going to be apparel clothing and then also my cause it's up front and center what my cause is we give back um, a percentage of sales to help um, better a dog park or to help better wherever um, you would like uh, so scrolling down here these are all so what you can also do is you can uh, buy commercial designs um, which means also that you know they're commercially um, that you can um, buy them and reuse them and put them on apparel and then resell them um, so make sure that it is for commercial use um, instead of personal use um, however i did make um, a couple of these designs myself yes it does take more time um, but know that because you're making them yourself, it's just, it feels, it's, it's um, more proprietary to your store. Um, it's more unique. And um, what you offer isn't just everywhere under the sun, as in other stores, places that other people can go and get them. Um, so that's what, uh, you can really leverage that as well. Um, if you are a graphic designer, if you know that. So this design, for example, I did create um, myself I got the commercial uh, font for it, and then I made the design and then I redid each letter in a different color and then I um, went to get a transparent paw prints and added uh, those on the sweatshirt as well. So looking into that, I'm going to show you um, what I did was I downloaded Printful and T-Launch. Um, so I'm going to give you some few points about T-Launch. When you go into T-Launch, um, here's my store. Um, this is where I can create custom products. This, this is a list of my product line and these are my orders. I did order two products just to um, see what the quality was like um, from each Printful and T-Launch. Um, and to do that, they don't have any sample discounts either. Just wanted to let you know about that. But if you create a discount, um, Ellie, I created a discount Ellie, which is zero dollars off. Um, then it I then it just charges me for whatever um, T launch or Printful charged me for. Um, then um, it's it, it connects to my store right over here. But let's go into my products here. So these are my products. I designed them like this, 
and uh, they give you a full list on um, on the products here, like from accessories to apparel to drinkware, uh, things like that. I have noticed that Printful is a bit cheaper and also um, more flexible and has a wider variety of product line to choose from. Um, however, their their products are pretty uh, great. Um, so I went over here and I just ordered. Let's see what I ordered. I just want to show you. So I ordered this product and I or ordered this sweatshirt. I was really excited about my own custom sweatshirt. So what it does is this is the art file. This is a art file that's on the front and on the back. You can choose to have front and back. Know that when you do um, set the variant pricing, uh, make sure to consider the additional uh, pricing for the back as um, T-Launch does charge for that and also uh, printable as well so this is what the design looks like um, and you have different color options um, this so what you upload is what they're going to fulfill and print and produce um, so just wanted to show you that this is what it looks like it actually i think it came out really 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 nice really cute and it's a long sweatshirt so i'm a small and this was already um pretty pretty small and i just want to know the quality um the quality is amazing um and i am getting a sample from t launch and the and i'm seeing what their quality is like too i love by the way if you want to know the shipping times it's literally a week um from order to production um to delivery and for uh, T launch especially. Um, I have yet to see the delivery times for Printful. I'm comparing um, and uh, seeing what, you know, fulfillment works the best. Um, I'm gonna look into Custom CAD. I'm gonna look into WC Fulfillment next. Um, but these are the two that I've, you know, built out my product line with and really excited about it. Um, I think that it came out super well. And also I do have the, uh, the back print as well so it's super cute let's go into um my products let's go into uh tea launch and i kind of want to show you um some of the things that they offer here so i'm going to go into an apparel and i'm going to choose the um the men's shirt i'm going to continue and this is just, it, I started out saying tail wag culture, but I didn't like it as much as doggy culture. So the tail wag culture dot my Shopify is always going to be that. But when people land on that, it's going to be the doggy culture dot com. Just take note of that. So when I continue, it lets you know all about the shipping costs. So that's something to take into consideration in your notes. Um, the shipping cost is $6 and the price itself um, uh, for this is 15. Now, when it says starting at, that means it will adjust based on like the variance. If it's a small compared to a uh, extra, extra large, because it takes more material um, to make it, especially considering also if it's a front and back design. So going down here, you know, you want a full print or if it's a uh, three quarters print, full print means the whole shirt, three quarters, three quarters of the shirt. Um, then let's say I want to add this design so right now i only have a front design unless i click on back design so i can have a different design or i can keep it the same like this um, now let's see what it looks like with a half print that's what it looks like with a half print and top center but i kind of like it downward like that now um, i can just select on the uh, swatches here what kind of what kind of shirt design I would like on what kind of shirt color I would like on this taking consideration that if it is a dark um, color you might need a white font so you can easily do that in um, illustrator or photoshop so you can easily do that in illustrator or photoshop as well just make everything white a white font um, so I won't do a dark and I won't do a red it just doesn't look as nice um, so I'll, I'm just going to do these two white colors, let's say, for example. Now I'm going to do next. And remember, this is on T-Launch. Now right over here, I can update my sell prices. Um, and I can update it to, let's say, I want the retail sell price. Um, now this is a shirt, so I can do $20. 
Now it's going to adjust all of the variants for $20. Take a note that you can also manually in the back end of your Shopify and not through the app, uh, the variants as well. And then I can just list my title here and then also my description. You can change the description and the title back at the end of Shopify as well. Um, once you basically create this it's it's a done deal basically so they have the design they're gonna um, produce it and then they're gonna send it out um, and then once you create but you can always go back and to edit and preview i do think that uh, t launch um, is still updating their their um their app i think it is great but printful is just a um more with printful just has more flexibility and uh and competitive pricing for sure and also their product line is more verse um but i do love the quality of tea launch definitely um from that sweatshirt i absolutely love it uh then you can go into uh you know um once you go into that details and then it publishes so let's go into printify and see how that works so i do have some products here as well i was playing back and forth um, it lets you know the status published um, all in stock there's some variants that might not be in stock um, but if you go into it you can change out i always selected not not using these mock-ups i always created my own in placeit.com um, and then scrolling down here you can add the uh, description um, description and title then also you can select um, the size table i created my own size table in the back end um, using the theme and using the options that the theme had so what i did was just copied and pasted this and made a page out of it and to do that just wanted to show you what that looks like so i have one for a heavy blend crew it's a size chart but what i did was i in the theme editor i called it for the size chart for that custom product page um, when when it is a crew neck uh, sweatshirt i only called for this size chart to be di displayed so looking into here i can go into my products here and I'll look into a heavy blend crew neck sweatshirt. And then you'll see on the size chart, uh, especially for this theme, I know a lot of themes do have this as well. I had a different image um, for it, uh, which I uploaded and then also a little more descript uh, description here. And then I pulled it from the page um, that I wanted the size chart to be added into. Um, but I, that is a run through of Printful and T-Launch comparison. I'm really excited about uh, this print on demand um, side of e-commerce. I've yet dabbled. I just dabbled into it. I, I love it so far. Um, I have yet to do the marketing, but I, I do think that there is some um, great opportunity here. Now apparel is kind of uh, difficult now, but I would definitely recommend um, customizing um, customizing your products really making it um personable um let me know if you like this video don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below if you want to see more um, about printful and details about uh, tea launch um, and things like that thank you